Welcome to another video from Green Read Technology. In this video, we're going to cover replacing the SSL certificate on Citrix Zen server. The first step in this process is going to be generating a certificate request on the Citrix Zen server. So I've already logged into my Zen server via SSH, and we're going to run uh, an open SSL command to generate the certificate request. We're going to run open SSL req new key RSA. It's going to be the algorithm. Key length is 2048. Key out. In this case, it's going to be our private key that we're generating as part of the, the key pair for the public and private key. So in this case, I'm going to name it GRT Zen. P R I V K E Y dot PIM. And the naming is important for the files just to make sure you know which file is which file. All right, dash nodes, dash out, G R T Zen two dot rec. So this file is going to be the actual CSR or certificate request dash sub j and at this point uh, forward slash cn there's actually a space there equals and this will be our common name which will also be the host name for our particular server so for us it's grtzen 2grtlocal so you're going to fill in the fully qualified domain name for the host forward slash O. This will be our organization name. Forward slash C. This will be the country. Forward slash ST equals this will be the state forward slash l will be the city and it did not like the spaces in the organization name so just modify those with parentheses so I'll go ahead and clear that and show the um, modified command just for clarity. And then we're actually going to run through the process of getting the certificate signed. So in my case, I'm using a Microsoft CA. So what I need to do is I need to pull the certificate request off the Zen server. So I'm actually going to use WinSCP. I'll use SCP, I'll put in my host name, password. All right, and I'll go ahead and trust the host key. All right, so at this point, we can see our certificate request as well as the private key. So for our certificate request, we'll go ahead and double click it. And here is our request. So even if you're dealing with a, an external CA, you would need the certificate request and I'm just going to copy and paste the request. And I'll go ahead and open up Internet Explorer and browse to my CA web enrollment page. And it's asking me to log in. All right, so here's our CA web enrollment. In this case, I request a certificate. And since I don't want a user certificate, but a web server certificate, I'll choose advanced certificate requests. 
and in this case I already have a request generated so I'll choose the second option and I'll go ahead and paste in the CSR generated from the Zen server I'll choose web server from certificate template I'll choose submit and we're going to need to change the file format from .cer to .pim so in this case we'll just choose base64 encoded download the certificate we'll go save as uh, we'll choose to name the file grt zen 2 cert.pm it's going to be the extension so we're going to change the save as type to all files we'll choose save and we'll go ahead and close the browser. And so what we'll do is on the desktop, we have our generated certificate. And we'll go ahead and copy that to the Zen server. All right. And we'll jump back to our command line on the Zen server. All right, so this these are the files that we currently have. Right now we have three, but we're going to grow to a few more, which is why the naming is important to ensure that you recognize which file is which. All right, so at this point, we're going to create a backup of the existing SSL certificate. All right, and so all we did was move the existing file, which was xapi-ssl.pim, to a new file in the same directory, just ending in underscore dot bridge. And so here, at this point, we need, then need to merge the signed certificate. So in our case, that would be the grtzen2 cert.pim file and the grt zen2 private key that pim file which is our private key that we use for generating the public private key pair all right so to accomplish that we're going to use cat and then we'll grab the two files grt zen2 cert and grt zen2 private key and that output is actually going to be encapsulated in a new file called grtzen2.pim. All right, so I'll go ahead and clear the output. All right, so we have a new file, grtzen2.pim. So now what we need to do is we need to copy that pim file into the uh, X API particular directory for the uh, SSL certificate. So in order to accomplish that, we'll put in CP GRT Zen 2.pim, which is the merged certificate. And then we'll go ahead and move that to Etsy Zen source forward slash xapi dash ssl dot pim and this was actually uh, going to replace the file that we moved uh, or created a backup for uh, in one of the previous steps all right and so that file is there and what we need to do is we need to modify the permissions on that file so we're going to run chmod 0400 and then forward slash Etsy, forward slash Zen source, forward slash XAPI dash SSL dot PIM. And then to complete the uh, replacement, we need to restart the XAPI SSL service. So we're going to put in Etsy, forward slash Etsy, forward slash INIT dot D, 
X A P I S S L space restart. All right, and so we're just going to open up a web browser to verify that the SSL certificate has been replaced. So we're going to go HTTPS, in our case, grtzen2.grt.local. And we're going to check the certificate. And in our case, the certificate has been issued to grtzen2, and it's been issued by our internal CA and so this video covered replacing the existing self-signed certificate on a Citrix Zen server with a CA signed certificate hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching